Again, it's Larry Steinhaus, and this is the Larry Steinhaus Show. I'm so excited. <gasps> I've got Lucia Mitro here, and this is so cool. So Lu- Lucia is an internationally acclaimed holistic intuitive counselor who helps empaths to experience their full potential and is determined to see people experience impactful and abundant lives. Now, I love the words abundant, so I can't wait to talk to you a little bit more about this. But however, uh, using her lifelong experience dealing with narcissists, bullies, and empath, children and adults, Lucia uses her intuition and knowledge to design a tailored support to her clients. A native of Slovakia, Lucia is leading leading a vibrant online community, reaches hundreds of people every month. Lucia is a healing practitioner, soul connector, animal lover who loves photography and painting. Well, you know, you know, you know you, you, photography and painting. What? What is this? A dating site? Come on now. I don't. You know, I, you, you got to throw that in for me to read. Tell me more about. Tell me more about empaths. I want to know about empaths. I want to know how empaths are and why they and why you gravitate towards them. Well, first of all, thank you very, very much for uh, having me here. I have to tell you, you're doing a great job. Oh, thank Am you I so much. Am I the last one? You, you, you are, are close absolute. to the last. You are the last scheduled one, but Ken's going to come in and we're going to talk about talk to yes, Ken too. Yes, absolutely. You did an amazing job. I don't know how you can still talk. <laughs> I, I, you know, th- talking is probably the only thing I, I don't feel <laughs> that I can't do. I, I'm mm-hmm. actually ready to fall asleep. So if I fall asleep during the interview, I'll do me you. a favor. Push this button over here. That's how you end it. No, I'm <laughs> I'll kick you. <laughs> yes, thank you. you I, I haven't seen you for a few months, and you look amazing. Well, thank you. Like, yeah. Keep doing whatever you're thank doing. You. Yeah, John yes. Jubilee, man. That, that, he's the guy, as you heard earlier. Mm-hmm. But I want to talk about you, because we get exactly thank 25 you. minutes for this, so I don't want to lose one minute of your time. So thank tell you. me about an empath. What is an empath? What is an empath? Mm-hmm. Empath is the person that can feel feelings of other people that can be affected like sometimes when you are sitting in a bus and you are reading the book and you are fine and suddenly you start feeling anxiety or some suddenly you are start feeling stress or or you are sad and there is absolutely no reason why that's what the empathic people can do can take over feelings of the other people so what you're saying is they can actually feel what other people are experiencing at the moment now i'm going to tell you that you know I'm a little woo woo too, and you know, I get that. I get those empathic feelings all the time. I've actually, Mm -hmm. you know, some, and I don't know if it was you or somebody else at this point, because it's Mm -hmm. getting to the point where (laughs) I'm talking to so many people over the last three or four weeks. Mm -hmm. But I had, but I had told somebody this that I've actually suppressed my empathic feelings because I didn't want to use it anymore. I don't like to use it. I, I kind of like. I actually kind of feel that that sometimes I could be extremely manipulative because I can. you tune feel, in, yeah. Because you tune I can, in, right? Yeah. I can feel feel how people feel, and because I can feel how people people feel, it's almost like it's almost like an objection, you know. Like so, I can get mm-hmm. past their objection. So I, I try not to use it, and then other people have said to me, "No, you should turn it back on. Just be careful with it." So so, tell me a little bit more about how how you know how people use it, how you use it, and what people should do with it. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's getting late. <laughs> It's first, it's understanding that this is actually happening. When you know that this is happening, you can tune in in other people to actually help them better. If they cannot verbalize what actually they need, you can tune in. Like when I get my clients, I, I know I feel it before they say it. I feel it before they hear it. So they then come to me. And they are so happy and so energetic and, oh, everything is fine, but I feel the horrible pain they are going through. I can help them better with feeling that pain and and navigating and kind of guide them towards to understanding what exactly going on. So that's when you use it in a good way, when you can use that empathic feeling to guide actually people what they really need, what they really want, instead of what they're saying to you, what they're telling you they want. Um, how to kind of, I don't want it to control it, I wanted to say uh, transform it is when, like I said, the bus. You know, if you're sitting or you're in a group, in the group settings with doing your um, classes and somebody is there that is going through, for example, cancer, 
you know, it's very horrible time of the life and you can feel that pain and you can actually sometimes some empaths will feel physically feel the pain. So suddenly you cannot breathe or, or your heart beating fast or um, you are dizzy. You don't know why. First, what I suggest to ask, is it mine? If you ask, is it mine? The first thing that you get, you will hear it. First answer is the correct answer. Well, that's great. I, I like that. I like the. I like the way you have expressed that. Is it mine or is it someone else's? Yes. And you know, so when it's someone else's, you know, how do you how do you even like uh, deal with that? The easier what I learn how to deal with myself, I just say word release, and you can quietly, you know, talk to yourself and go release, 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 oh, release. That's, that's great. I like it. And you calm it down and you let it go. Um, people use different methods how to get rid of that. You can literally say, okay, I'll give it to God if you believe it. Mm -hmm, I'll sure. give it to universe because yeah. they are strong. Like, Thank you for letting me know how you feel, but now I'm releasing to the higher power to deal with that. And when you start doing that often and often, it will be like this. And you don't even have to tell people what you are doing. You know, you can do it out loud, you can do it just in your mind, and you're looking, I'm talking to you, and I can saying in my mind, release, 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 and you calm it down, and then mm -hmm. you can help. So most people listening right now are going, those two people are crazy. <laughs> what, are they, what in the world are they talking about, you know? So, and, and, you know, and, and if you've experienced this, great. If you haven't experienced it, that's, you know, fine. You know, there, there's nothing wrong, and, you know, the whole day has all been all about that some people believe, uh, in certain things some people don't believe in certain things look we've experienced it I, mm -hmm. I have to say that I'm a believer because I've experienced it you have to say that you're a believer because you've experienced it mm -hmm. right and it's just it is just the way it is but I also want to talk a little bit about more a little more about so something that you know when we talked about your introduction mm -hmm. we had talked about uh, you know using a lifelong experience dealing with narcissists bullies and empath and empathic children empathic and adult children. what in the world do, do you mean by this and how do you do this uh, I was um, growing up as a child. Um, my mom is one of these people that she's a very negative person. She will go from a problem that it goes, oh, aha, uh -huh, to Third World War within, you know, in six seconds <laughs> or less. So I was conditioned to feel and think in a very negative way. It was everything was a huge, huge problem right away. She would find problem in every solution. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I was very conditioned to growing up like this and was f afraid of everything. There was a lot of fear. That was a lot of negativity on my life in my life, and therefore I had a very low self confidence. And being an empath, empathic people are usually people pleasers. Being a doormat, sure. Oh, sure. You know, we do everything for everybody else. We suppress our needs, our our needs for everybody else. Even you know, for example, somebody asks you to go to movie and you don't really feel like it, but they going through the stuff. So even then, you are tired. You go to movie with them just because they wanted to go. This is empathic. Having low self confidence. Actually, I had a below zero confidence being that I had an experience in my childhood that nobody else did, you know, talking to the souls on another side and seeing the ghosts and everything else um, as a childhood. And I suppressed this like you did, mm -hmm. because when I realized that I can do that, nobody else can see it. And I was told by my mom that if she wouldn't be ashamed to have a daughter in an institution, I would be an institution. Mm. Wow. <laughs> So I suppressed it, and nobody really from my friends or family actually knew what, what I can do or what I can see it. And that's when I realized after coming to USA, well, when I had a zero self-confidence, I attract the partner that in my level, meaning I attract narcissists who right. needed narcissists, right. Narciss uh, um, uh, narcissists who needed empath, because that's the best combination for a narcissist and pass so because we need to take care of the other people right. and they need to be celebrated sure so absolutely, I'm sure married narcissist and I stayed married in a marriage for 16 years 
until my son actually got a driver's license and we were able to leave. And coming to United States, it was actually uh, another way of him isolating me from my family and my friends. So it's you just came to trait. United States with him? Yes. So you were married yes. in, uh, what was it, Yugoslavia? Slovakia. Slovakia, right. So you Slovakia. married there and then you came, oh, that makes, okay, now I, now I that's rough, right. Yes. So how long ago was it that you were divorced? Uh, about 15 years. Okay. <laughs> so how do you go from, that's pretty wild, so how do you go from having been in that situation to becoming who you are now. I mean, it, it's 15 years is a long time, but I'm sure that you know you had little baby steps that you had to take. What was Absolutely. the first baby step that you took? I started building myself up. I started studying. I, I went to, when I came to United States, actually I got a hold of a book uh, from Louise Hay, Heal Your Life. And that you, was I'm the- I'm sorry, what was the name of the book? Louise Hay, Heal okay. Okay. Your Life. Sure. Um, and that was a book when I actually realized, oh my God, there are more people like me. I'm not crazy. Isn't that wild? <laughs> right? There's so many people like me. There's so many people like you listening. There's so many people like everybody. And it's amazing that you're absolutely right. We all find ourselves in the same position. So after I read that book, I started researching that. And I started researching more. And I dived into reading the books about the subject, about everything about the healing because I was always interesting. As I said, my, my father was very sick, my mom was very sick, and I was just staring at them thinking that it gotta be something else, not just what the doctors are doing for them. That gotta be something else. So I went through the stages and I researched it and I was looking for modality that I can actually do when I came here and made other friends and the healing and energy healing. I came across the energy healing, reconnective healing, that I actually got a certification, and that's what I do. That's my passion, actually, to do the healing sessions. And since that's the energy se- energy healing, I don't have to be, I have a clients all around the world, so I can do the session from my house, and they are on their house. And it's all amazing, and it's, and when I turn, actually, what I thought, it's my curse. Because I always thought I'm cursed, you know. I, mm. I have to be crazy. That's not cannot be like this. I oh, have to I, be crazy. I, so, I, so, so I am so crazy that I call myself <laughs> the crazy options trader and the crazy real estate investor. That's why I love you. <laughs> right, 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 right. So I, I overcame, you know, thinking that I was crazy by saying, "Yeah, I am." Yes. It's as simple as that. So now, now that I'm crazy, what do you want to? What do you want to do? You're going to call me crazy? Yes, exactly. Uh, I'm, thanks for the compliment. I appreciate it. Right. And so that that's how I overcame that because you know okay, there are times where I'm like I must be crazy if I'm doing what I'm doing, right? And and, and people will say that all the time about people who are different, and that's exactly. the crazy part is we're all different. How dare you say that I'm crazy if you're not crazy? If I'm crazy, you got to be crazy. Yes. And Lucy, you you must be crazy, right? <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> right, there you go. And you I love, love it because you're crazy. exactly. And that's that's just so awesome. You got a couple people chiming in, by the way. We've got uh, Karen Sachs chiming in. Oh, Karen. Oh, she she yeah. she, lo- she loves you. She just keeps oh. saying these beautiful things about you. They're Thank scrolling you. off, so I can't actually read them all. <laughs> she has one that says, "Lucia, your your gifts are extraordinary. Thank I'm you. so glad you have set your." Talents free, which I Thank agree with you. her, by the way. Lynn Barnes. You know Lynn Barnes? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Lynn, Lynn Barnes says, you see it as a beautiful soul with a wonderful Aww. gift. Christina Seaford. Yes. Yeah, you know Christina? Good. Mm-hmm. She she put out a heart, and she yeah. says that she's an empath, too. Awesome. And so you must know her, and she, you must talk to her, sure. Yeah. Uh, so so uh, what are we feeling, Christina? Are we happy? Because if you're... we, we put, put us Actually, I want you to put a smile or a <laughs> smiley face or something like that so you can tell us how... how uh, how you feel about how you the energy that you're getting from both Lucia and I. So the, Tom, mm-hmm. also Tom Corner, who was here earlier, wonderful Lucia Mitro. Thank mm-hmm. you for sharing your thank gift, you. and I agree with him 100%. Thank you. So okay, so you're so I'm trying to figure this out. So you're here, you're you're getting you get divorced, you have to change, you start reading a book. Wow, mm-hmm. wow. and then you know, and then you become you become a life coach. How how kind of like wow is that? Because. I always said going through my childhood, I do not want anybody to experience this. <laughs> see how I'm being affected yeah, I, I still. Yeah, I can see, sure, yeah. Um, I do not want to. And I always said I wanted to be, if I had somebody during my childhood that I am now during that time, I would be a completely different person. I could be different life. I would, be, I would have a di- happier life. That's why I'm here. I'm here to guide you, to find who you are, to find your own light, and then make it timeless. I'm here to guide you 
to find your shadows because we all have this part of our personality that we don't like or um, part of the happening in our life that we don't like. But I always said, don't try to force it to be just positive and just just make it uh, avoid this. Mm -hmm. Befriend, befriend your shadows. Befriend what what's what's happening bad in your life and trans transform it. Once you transform it, then you will grow. And that's what I did with my life. I used the most horrible time in my life to actually use it now because when better women come to me or children that experiencing seeing the shadows or seeing the ghosts or, or knowing, like I know stuff. And people ask me, where do you know? How do you know that? I'm like, I don't know. And at this point, I don't care where it's coming from if it's helping mm. others. Right, right, right. So when I see, um, recently I had a child, she's maybe seven years old, and usually the gifts, we all have these gifts, and usually the gifts will go away about three, four years when the child is three or four years old. Mm -hmm. This was seven-year-old. She was, when she came in front of camera, I was Skyping with her mom. She came in a front, first she didn't want to send, set in front of the camera. She did not want to be in a camera. Slowly she would do like, you know, this. And then she sat down and I told her my story. And it came from being like this, mm. to doing this, to doing this, and to doing this. And she came 15, 15 minutes. That mm. child who was very, very shy, oh, sorry, who was very, very shy, and who was in a corner, sitting in a corner, came and became very happy child just because she knew that there's somebody else who experienced this just because she knew that she's not crazy and she can control it and she can live with it and she can help other people that's what i love to do and that's what my passion so if people call me crazy for that i let them <laughs> well i'll tell you what i'm gonna call you crazy you know why i'm gonna call you crazy <laughs> because because I, I love this. I think that what you're doing is absolutely amazing. And if people want to call you crazy, I'm going to be one of them because I'm going to use crazy as a positive and great word. So, <laughs> so you know, I see you getting all emotional and, you know, and... Uh, and I, I, I am a crier. Oh, is that, is that it? You're, you're a crier? Uh, okay. You okay. know, and I was really almost ashamed about that until I saw a video from Gary V. You know Gary V? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. And he admitted he's a crier. He cries. And I'm like, Gary, I love you. <laughs> so, so I still have trouble crying. You know, I, I've cried at certain things. I still, have, you know, the last time I cried, and, and you know, and it's going to bring tears to my eyes because mm -hmm. last time I cried, believe it or not, was um, a couple months ago when my cat died. And uh, I knew it was going to bring tears to my eyes. I just knew it. <laughs> I knew it. And, mm -hmm. and you know, and, and it's and it's amazing because you know, like I, I don't know what it was. I mean, look, everybody loses a pet. You know, it's really rough. Mm -hmm. But to me, I, I lost my cat, and, and, and this cat, I can't even explain it. I mean, this cat, I don't even know how or why this cat meant so much to me mm -hmm. that gave me such a such an emotional uh, response to her death. You know, Unconditional and, love? Yeah, well, no, I, I, I don't even believe that. <laughs> I believe mine was unconditional love. Mm -hmm. I believe I unconditionally loved the cat. I don't yeah. even know if the cat. <laughs> I don't even know if the cat cared about me. You know, right? We, we, we're funny about you know mm -hmm. about pets. You know, we, mm -hmm. we don't know what they really think. You know, exactly. all we know is that they can think. You know, I know that if I if I go up and snuggle with him, he'll give me a piece of cheese. You know, <laughs> I mean, you know maybe, maybe that. Oh, but they do. You yeah. know, I I, I I I think you're right. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. Yeah. But but I but but I know how I felt about the cat. You know, mm -hmm. and you know, in fact, you know, in fact, I found the, I found the cat in the garbage can. It was a feral cat. I found a cat in the garbage can trying to find food in the garbage can, and then mm -hmm. it became my cat. It was a long story. Yeah. But but it, but again, you know, so so I, and I'm saying I'm not a crier. It's very unusual that I cry, and you know, and, and it all comes back to I think it's men, unfortunately. That men have this thing where you know we're not supposed to cry. We're exactly. supposed to be the we're supposed to be the strong mm -hmm. one in the relationship or the strong one in the family. And, and you know, and and I I'm so happy to see that things are changing. That now, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that now everyone has. You know, and I, and I said it in, in, in uh, a couple of interviews ago. You know, we're equally we're equally uh, unequal, right? Okay. So now we're all just people. We're no longer I've the also same. Made that. Uh, what, sorry? How awesome is that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. and, we're, and so I'm allowed to cry if I want to cry. You're allowed to cry if you want to. And if you don't want to cry, fine. It doesn't matter. Everyone's allowed to be who they are and do what they want. And I love that. I think it's, it's a great new world, a new fresh world. 
I am finally uh, happy to see that being vulnerable is actually a strength that people Isn't that understand. Yes, exactly. People understand yes. this. Yes. You know, because sometimes clients come to me and they, they cannot say a word. And I just sit with them, hold their hands, and we both start crying. Oh, okay. And it's a release, and mm. then they can start talking. So, but yes, absolutely. It's usually when you are not allowed, uh, you cannot cry. Uh, think yourself back when it was first time that you cried. When you felt that way that you should not cry. It's usually going deep, deep, deep in childhood. Oh, absolutely. I, I'm thinking when you asked, I went to my childhood and I went to where either my my father or mm -hmm. my mother hit me or, or, or yelled at me or, or didn't let me do mm -hmm. something. That's the first place place I'm going to. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, so, and you're right, it's funny because it's, mm -hmm. it's all going through me right now. Stop yes. it. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, you know, so, so you're analyzing mm -hmm. me right now, which is awesome. <laughs> I love it, right? So, and, so, so I mm -hmm. realized that, yeah, you're right. I was trying to say, you know, fine. You, you want to mm -hmm. hurt me? Fine. I'm, I'm going to show you that you can hurt me because I'm not going to cry. Exactly. Right? And how, how hard is that? Mm -hmm. Well, you just like, you know, I just, uh, how much do I owe you for this therapy session? <laughs> <laughs> and just know that you can release it now. Like I said, befriend your shadows. Like, y you turn, you look at yourself as a, that three-year-old or four-year-old boy and embrace that boy in you mm -hmm. and heal it and tell him it's okay it's okay so next time you feel like a crying it's okay crying you know sometimes we need to shut ourselves in the bathroom because people say i don't want other people to see it go to bathroom nobody will question what you're doing there yeah so yeah. just just release it because tears are releasing that's actually scientifically proven that it's a releasing pain a pain it's actually calming you down when you start crying so let that's it go great. don't hold in yourself because i always said once people start do holding the stuff in yourself it gets to the point that you it's like it, well, i'm describing that it's like a balloon that it's attached to your wrist whatever you're doing it's going into that balloon and balloon is growing and growing growing and what will happen it will burst so it will come down. So what do you want to come down? Mm -hmm. But if you are suppressing and suppressing and suppressing all the feelings that you have, and that's why people tend to put a mask, especially now after like uh, the movie The Secret or Love mm -hmm. of Attraction. Sure. That's what happened with me. I went from one extreme of negativity to another extreme of trying to be positive. But then when the people, when the stuff did not go well in my life, I blame myself. I'm starting to be hard on myself and blaming. Well, I keep thinking positive. Why this stuff is happening to me? Why I'm attracting? And that's when I realized that it's impossible. We are human. It's impossible to be all the time positive. If I, if I see person, if I observe person, then I know that there is stuff going on in their life. But they are like all happy and all cheerful. I go up. Oh, Oh, <laughs> because great. I'm just that's waiting great. for that, you know, sure. to burst sure. and to come. Sure. So that's why I'm like, I telling people, it's okay. It's okay that's when it. you feel it. I gave, um, yesterday I gave um, example, what people are trying to do when they are forcing to be positive. If you get a flat tire, what are you going? Like, oh, blip, 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 you know? There is there is, <laughs> there is a flat tire, so you pull over mm -hmm. and you address this. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm meeting the people that are trying to be so positive, like I'm becoming one with the tire, and I'm seeing the tire filling up with air, and ignore that. Well, what's happened? You destroy your car, right? Yeah, or right. you can actually sure. kill somebody else. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It's okay, you know, if you address the problem. So you can trans befriend them and transform them and grow. Because when we don't grow, we go down to hill very, very Right. Fast. They actually say, if you're not growing, you're dying. Is, exactly. Is, is, the, is the statement. So I hate mm -hmm. to do this. I'm loving every second <laughs> of this. But guess what? We're up. We're out of time. I yeah. know. It happens every single time that I get to a really <laughs> good point um, in, in any of you that I have to end it. I'm so sorry. But but uh, actually, I'm like excited to, to follow you more on Facebook. I've seen some Thank of the things you. you're doing. I'm excited to follow you more on Facebook. So how can people get a hold of you if they want to? 
If you Google Lucia Metro, I am everywhere when you need to me to be. Okay, great. <laughs> Wherever Excellent. you are, that's Excellent. where I am. Just Google okay. Lucia Metro. I have my website. I have my social media everywhere. What is your website? It's luciametro.com. Okay, beautiful. That's exactly what I thought. Okay, cool. <laughs> yes. All right, cool. So let's do this. Oh, yeah. we. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to have to uh, move on, but I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to, to find out more about you and, and a lot of other things that we're doing. By the way, you've got a whole bunch of people saying hi. Oh, Unfortunately, I can't you. say hello to them, but I love Thank you. Christy's, I love you all. Chrissy's last mm -hmm. comment. It's hard to not be positive around you, Lucia. Keep up the greatness. <laughs> and with that, i got to get going. Thank so you. I'm going to say goodbye. So go and you live your life fearlessly. Thank you. Mm -hmm.